Hi, TOT Carlson, and I'm back with another video for you. I just did a review for the Castle in the Sky Studio Ghibli vinyl soundtrack by Joe Hisaishi on here a little while ago, and I've actually got some more of these vinyl Studio Ghibli soundtracks we're going to take a look at. I think I mentioned in that previous review, Kiki's Delivery Service was my girlfriend's all-time favorite movie, and... Right now, I'm going to show off the vinyl releases that I got her for her birthday. There are two Kiki releases in this line. This is the soundtrack to the film, your conventional soundtrack, which has all the score as well as the pop songs featured in the movie. And this one is the Image album. I mentioned before in the previous review... A lot of Japanese movies, they'll do what's called an image album that's scored just based on the initial idea and concept art. Some of those musical motifs make it into the final film and some don't. So sometimes you get two or more soundtracks per movie. And even some of the Studio Ghibli movies have like other releases like you know, symphonic suites and things like that. As far as Kiki goes, as far as these 2020 reissues go of the Ghibli soundtracks, these are the only two. So we're going to do an unboxing of these, and then we will yeah, talk a little bit about the releases, and I'll share my opinion. You can see if they're recommended or not. So we'll start off with the image album here. This has got the early art of Kiki looking at the mirror before she embarks off on her journey. More art of her on the back there. We'll go ahead and crack this one open now. You got a nice looking OB strip down on the side there. Got a close up of a scene from the movie. More Japanese text. Studio Ghibli Records. On that side, you got another OB strip promoting the soundtrack as well as the uh, Porco Rosso releases. I've actually ordered those and I'll be getting those in the mail in about a week, so I'll be covering those as well when they finally come. So let's go ahead and crack this sleeve open now. Nothing quite as fancy as that cell art that they had inside the. Uh, the one for Castle in the Sky, but uh, still some cool stuff to look at here. Here's the uh, inner sleeve. Got some more rough concept art here. And then you got some art as well as like some flyers down at the bottom on this set. I love these rough sketches of Gigi and how he looks different from the final film. And like I say in almost every review I do that covers stuff like this, I do not speak Japanese, so unfortunately I can't really say what anything in these pictures say. Here's the actual record right there. You got close-up of Kiki's head. It's got a nice pink label. Now on this side, uh, this is side A. You got the logo for the film as well as the text that says Image Album. Now, like I said, the Image Album is actually music that was created before the actual movie came out just based on the concept art and the initial idea. Of course, this story already existed as a book before it was adapted by... Studio Ghibli as well, so you get to see some of the early music that Joe Hisaishi had written for this, and some of this music, like I said, made it into the final movie, whereas some did not. I mean, you listen to this, you will hear a few unfamiliar pieces, even if you're someone who's listened to the soundtrack of Kiki's Delivery Service before. Now, next up, of course, we have the soundtrack of the film. Great piece of artwork from the movie there with Kiki going over the town in her broom and Gigi hanging on by a thread. Nice little close-up there on the OB strip. On the back here, you got, got uh, Gigi there, as well as the kittens. I especially like that little mini black Gigi there. He's adorable. And there's your track list. And then again, you have a promotion on the OB strip for the other album that I just showed off, as well as the Porco Rosso ones. Let's go ahead and take a look inside here. There's a nice close-up of our young heroine there. A lot of Japanese text off to the side. Here's a track list as well as, you know, again, even more Japanese text, which I myself cannot read, unfortunately. The actual record itself, this is nice. You got a great picture of Kiki there on side A. And then on side B, of course, you've got uh, Gigi. 
being a Studio Ghibli fan, it was a lot of fun to get these records and listen to them. It's especially interesting to listen to the Image album and listen to the final soundtrack, see what made it into the final movie, and you know, see what got the axe. And of course, the soundtrack, in addition to the score, also has the two pop songs at the end, although one of them was actually featured at the beginning of the movie. So I guess they wanted to keep the pop songs together and then have them slightly separate from the score. Either way, these are great releases, beautiful artwork. I love the little inserts in here as well. The labels on the discs look great. And again, the only complaint I have with these things is price and availability. You're looking at paying upwards of $50 per record just because they're imported. There's no domestic release, so you are going to find yourself paying a pretty penny for these. Although Joe Hisaishi's scores that he's done over the years are some of the best in the world of movies and not just in the world of Japanese anime. The guy is very underrated as a composer, even though over there he's known as like the John Williams of Japan. Are you a fan of Kiki's Delivery Service and got a chance to listen to either of these vinyl soundtracks yet? Both the soundtrack and the image album. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've had a chance to listen to them. Comment down below and let me know what you think, whether you want to share some feedback on either of these releases or you just want to tell me what your favorite Studio Ghibli album is. Also remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting new videos and go ahead and give this video a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.